three time joint winners top winners with india pakistan lost the earlier semi final against korea they won't be in the final will india who have won the hero asian champions trophy three times with pakistan be joining them for the bronze medal playoff and will japan pull off an upset for the ages Kenta Tanaka has been simply sensational today. India have not been able to contain him. Takuma Niwa has contributed in equal measure. So has Ryo Maoka. The young players that Japan have bought with them to, to the Hero Asian Champions Trophy have stood up and they have been counted. Krishan Pathak is back again under the bar. Suraj Karkera has finished his shift for tonight. He's waiting for pushback now. Kur Sahib Jeet Singh. For him and the other young Indian players, this is such a big last 15 minutes. Gurinder finds Hartik. It's repeating the lines that Graham Reed said in his pre match interview. The two matches, the group stage match where India won 6 0, and this match, the second semi final, are mutually exclusive events. They have nothing to do with each other. I'm sure that message would have been relayed many a times to his players because Japan came out firing out of the blocks in the first quarter. He created half a dozen penalty corners in less than 10 minutes. Got two goals, put India under pressure. That is exactly what the doctor had ordered for Japan. Very tall order for India indeed now. Kenta Tanaka looking to close Manpreet Singh down who is now playing as the last man for India. So he can fire the ball in from there. Manabu Yamashita looking to clear their lines. Japan, Hiromasa Ochiai. The clock is the enemy for India. And every second that goes by, the task at hand gets tougher and tougher. Kazuma Murata. The primary supply line for Kenta Tanaga has been Kazuma Murata for so many years for Japan. Those two have been such great servants of Japanese hockey. Hiromasa Ochiai, one of the senior players in the team. Greg Clark it is, the assistant coach for India. It's motivating the players. Manpreet Singh. Still just the one penalty corner for India. That is our Instagram and Twitter handles. Join the conversation because we've had two unbelievable games this evening. One was a 11 goal thriller and this one could be an upset for the ages. Manabu Yamashita has been tackled, will only be a Japanese free hit, nothing more. Seren Tanaka. Fan have come right back. This suits them perfectly. They've come out to the left hand side here. Yoshiki Kirishita. They're keeping the ball. India need to deploy a high press as fast as possible. Kazuma Murata has been tormenting the Indian defense quarter after quarter here. Did start in the forward line. That's not his natural position. Rajkumar Pal looks up, has nothing up ahead of him. Only Shilanan Lakra was the sole option and he was man-marked. Dilpreet Singh it has come up to. Time sticking away. Less than 11 and a half minutes to go. Hardik it is. Varun Kumar 
looks for that pass at the baseline it has been received inside the circle shilan and lakra needs to find a foot dilpreet will recycle that hardik will he go wide looks to keep it for a second has come out to gurinder who's played it down the line sustained spell of indian pressure here will there be something at the end of it they don't need one two or three they need all of at least four goals to force this into a shootout as a japanese player who's down time out has been called seems to be okay hero masa ochiai accidental clash there between hero masa ochiai and shilanan lakra good to see him back on his feet taking their time over this one our japan balls come in krishan pathak needs a good clearance he gets that sumit finds hardik rajkumar pal gurinder jaskaran leaves it for hardik it's well received there by dilpreet he's found space here here comes the circle entry rajkumar pal takes a shy on goal but uh, it has missed the second post it's good attack by india fortunately the attempt by rajkumar pal was not on target well uh, brilliant piece of trickery from dilpreet and then rajkumar pal with that shot japan on the attack to the left flank uh, intercepted by harman preet very well so plays it down the line dilpreet singh yet again lalit making the run plays it to the center dilpreet find sumit ye chalo yaar upar chal dilpreet again goes to go towards the center will be played back to sanjeev neelam case plays uh, to dipsan tirki on preet now circle penetration wants to have a go very well defended very well defended from japan on preet with the circle penetration and just as he was about to pull the trigger shota yamada got in his way and won the free hit yeah no doubt he's got ice on his hamstrings because of the amount of sprints and the amount of accelerations that are made by this uh, Japanese forward who many consider the best forward in Asia Kenta Tanaka and that argument has a lot of merit really love to see the data on the number of accelerations that are performed by Kenta Tanaka in one single match Japan now manufacturing another attack Ryoma Ukaide is gets the foul Japan coming forward with Takuma Niwa what a player he is for Japan look at that by Takuma Niwa it's come in Krishan Pathak has got his angles covered Harman Preet with the aerial does he find Lalit it's come its way to Dilpreet they've come in each other's way no harm done Rajkumar Pal lovely feint the clock is ticking away here for india manpreet singh lays it over to jaskaran saying it's a penalty corner japan don't need this ken nagayoshi has just conceded a penalty corner and india have an opportunity this time harpreet singh is on the pitch let's have a look at that save by krishan pathak Takuma Niwa it was with another one of those runs down the right flank and this is how the penalty corner came about tackle from behind got nothing of the ball stick check and Ken Nagayoshi has conceded a penalty corner for Japan wow what a moment this is 
just over seven minutes to go. Harman Preet Singh, who's been India's top scorer in this tournament, he's got six goals already. This is his moment. Lalit will be the injector. Manpreet Singh is out there. It is Harman Preet Singh. He scored. It's his seventh goal in the tournament. They're collecting the ball, uh, the Indian forwards, and they need to get going here. He does it one more time. Lalit with the injection, Manpreet with the halt, and Harman Preet with the drag flick finds the right side of the net towards uh, Takashi Yoshikawa's left hand side. It was a clean strike. What a drag flick, and he does it under pressure as well. India moved to two goals. Well, the deficit is reduced to three. Can they make a comeback? Three goals required in seven minutes at the Maulana Bhashani National Hockey Stadium. This is the second semi-final of the Hero Asian Champions Trophy. Can they get three more goals in seven minutes and force it to a shootout? Otherwise, we'll be having an India-Pakistan for the bronze medal for the third and fourth place match tomorrow. Well, that goal has definitely got the crowd going. They found their voices again, especially the Indians in the crowd. I've been interacting with the ball boys here as well at the Maulana Bhashani National Hockey Stadium. They are overwhelmingly in support of India as well. Players like Harman Preet are their heroes. There they are. It's a good turnout here. That's the grandstand here at the Maulana Bhashani National Hockey Stadium. That goes Japan's way. They need to be... Careful here not to give away possession so easily, India. That was not the intended pass, but Seren Tanaka has done well to recycle possession. Kazuma Murata. Just the work rate of some of these senior Japanese players, whether it's Seren Tanaka, Kazuma Murata, Kenta Tanaka. The bravery of players like Shota Yamada is just exceptional. There's another one of them, Manabu Yamashita, such a senior, experienced campaigner. Part of that Asian Games winning squad. It's a long aerial. The attack has broken down for India. Going on his own is Hardik. Only a long corner. Card has been shown and it is a Japanese player. I think it is Roma Uka. We'll just wait for confirmation. Yeah, it is. It's Roma Uka who's got carded just over five minutes to go then and Japan are a player less. Harman Preet plays that uh, first time has been cleared. Manpreet Singh. Kazuma Murata thought of pressing him for exactly a second and then withdrew. Manpreet Singh looking for players to his left this time. Attack. Shamsher is there. Gurinder looking for Hardik. Intercepted by Kazuma Murata. Japan could have been another counter attack. Kose Kawabe is already scored in this match. Uka, Rayuma Uka suspended for two minutes. Japan are a man down. Can India take full advantage of that? Oh, that one goes begging from Shilanand Lakra. Dived in and a nice little shot towards the left of the keeper. Manpreet Singh it was who put the ball in and uh... Yeah, and it at least has to be on target so you may get some purchase on the rebound was not to be loose ball by Shamsher Singh Yamashita with a long clearance pushing India back under four minutes to go here bunch of Indian players waiting to come on In all India, 
and uh, you really have to ask yourself where was this performance in the first and second quarter Lalit Upadhyay looking for a penalty corner he gets a penalty corner and uh, I can't spot Harmanpreet Singh on the pitch but India don't have time he is on the pitch and there he is had taken up in very advanced position and Lalit finding a Japanese foot and creating another penalty corner for India Chang Jong Hyung earlier this uh, afternoon surpassed Harmanpreet Singh as the joint top scorer at the Hero Asian Champions Trophy he is now the leading scorer here Harmanpreet Singh got his seventh goal just a few minutes ago he will need an eighth India will need an eighth from him They've come to the second battery. Varun Kumar, it is asking for another penalty corner. It is not a clean halt. Japan have asked uh, for a referral. Okay, Ujishima, it is. So let's hear what they've asked. They're claiming it's on a stick. Can you check if it's a stick or a foot, please? Simple enough referral. Was it a stick or was it a foot? This was not a clean trap. We just uh, threw Varun Kumar off a bit. Looks like it's clearly the foot. Number 14, uh, Raiki Fujishima with the appeal. Varun Kumar with the drag flick. And... Um, Did it catch the stick before? Well, it looks like the foot, of course. There is a no clear change. It's a foot. Japan lose the referral. Well, by uh, the foot, Mikhail Oten, rightly so, pointed out for the penalty corner. And so it remains uh, as confirmed by TV umpire Lucky Salim. Hard dig to inject the ball in. Will it be Herman Preet this time? Will he go for his eighth? Well, far, far away the injection was. Lalit still has a chance. Was cleared dangerously and much to the relief of Japan, Takashi Yoshikawa. I have to say, Sam, that I have never seen Hardik inject that far off the mark, ever. That is pressure. That is the pressure of international hockey. That is what it does to you. It does very funny things to a lot of seasoned, experienced campaigners as well. That was an awful injection. I think it is with a circle entry. He's done well here. It's still alive for India. What a chance at the second post. They're asking for a foul. They're not going to get it. That has been shot wide. Well, Lalit slided in uh, from the far post. This was the injection. Very, very far away. Landed to the stick of Dilpreet. And... Uh, here again, Hardik attacking the baseline. Lalit, it just goes begging in front of him. Dilpreet from the right-hand side. Less than two minutes remain. Too far to climb, perhaps, for India from here. The deficit of three goals, as my fellow commentator, Siddharth Pandey, mentioned. Uh, seems like they've got to climb the Mount Everest. Time definitely against them. Hardik from the right-hand side plays it in. Call in favor of India. Time definitely not. Just over a minute. First touch onto the left-hand side. Dipsan there. Tries to dribble in. And it is a penalty corner in favor of India. With just over a minute left on the clock. Ken Nagayoshi... Well, the guilty party there, that push from behind towards Dipsan Turkey has earned India another penalty corner. Hardik, seasoned injector for India, will be again pushing it in. Varun Kumar is there, Dipsan Turkey is there, no Harmanpreet Singh this time. 
Who will it be? The first bat or the second battery? It is, well, Varun Kumar it was. And there is a goal. There is a goal for India from Hardik. It was played in and Hardik with the finish this time. They've got one more, India. Well, it was uh, played in and then this cool finish from Hardik Singh. Rajkumar Pal was the one who played it in and then Hardik Singh just uh, making no mistake in finishing it off. Good finish through the near post. The deficit is reduced to two goals. It's Japan 5, India 2 courtesy of Hardik Singh's uh, goal. It's India 3. But just a minute remain. Hero Asian Champions Trophy, second semi final. Less than a minute to go. Akira Takahashi would certainly be a happy man. Varun Kumar on this occasion failing to control the ball. Certainly not happy. Kaito Tanaka will be taking the free hit. Passes it on to Yoshiki Kirishita. Aerial ball from him, Gurinder, nicely controlled, played down the line, intercepted by Chota Yamada. Varun Kumar yet again losing the possession, played down the line by Kaito. Kaito Tanaka plays it forward and takes it to the corner, Rayoma Uka. And rightly so, there is the hooter of the second semi final. Well, and do we have an upset or not? Definitely top rank sides, but India being the bronze medal winners of the Olympics. Well, uh, the previous match, India had beaten Japan.